and welcome to Box, where we unbox, review and demonstrate the latest tech. Today we have with us the MSI MPG Artemis 343 CQR Curved Gaming Monitor. Released in 2020, this relatively new monitor from MSI promises to deliver everything and more for high power gaming and general use as well as next gen console gaming. Taking the screen out of the box, you'll find it comes with a variety of additional cables and accessories that help make the most out of this beautiful display. Alongside the stand, MSI have also supplied four mount screws for securing the monitor safely onto the wall in case you need to save space. Attaching the stand requires fixing in the four screws provided before securing the base in place with the twist screw at the bottom. Now it's securely in place, it's time to put this monitor through its paces. Starting off with the display, we have a curved 1000R screen with a 178 degree wide view angle. Carefully designed for ultimate eye comfort, it's perfect for those ultra wide compatible games, opening up the viewing space to see much more of the game for an added advantage. Not only is this great for gaming, it also gives you plenty of space to work, browse the internet and use creative editing software without getting lost in multiple windows. With a relatively narrow bezel edge, you don't lose out on any of the screen space as the display bumps right up to every corner, offering a spectacular full picture. As with most gaming monitors, you will find on the back a long diagonal RGB colour strip alongside a modest sized MSI logo that casts off a perfect mood lighting when gaming. It's completely customisable through both OSD and Dragon apps, whether that's on your desktop or on your phone, or using the Mystic Light feature, with a choice of various light pattern modes and colour combinations available to finish off your ideal gaming setup in style. The stand is screw mounted, which is something I've come to prefer as I know it's completely secure, compared to some of the slide on stands that you get with other monitors. And as you can see underneath, it's compatible with the vase mount for fixing to the wall. The leg span is pretty large, but considering the size of the screen, it's perfect for displacing weight and keeping things sturdy, leaving plenty of room underneath for the keyboard and mouse. So in terms of ports and connections, MSI have included two 2.0 HDMIs, one display port to access the higher 165Hz refresh rate, one Type-C USB, a headphone jack, two USB 3.2 Type-A's, and one USB 3.2 Type-B upstream port. On the side, you'll find a macro key for activating the OSD, the navigation joystick for changing settings and menus, and a power button. Now, what I like about the joystick is it has multiple uses, from selecting and navigating functions in the small OSD menu in the bottom right corner, to switching between inputs and quickly turning off features with just a few clicks. It also includes a variety of hotkeys for quick access to game modes and inputs, by moving the joystick in different directions when the OSD is inactive. So this monitor comes with a few handy ways to keep your desk tidy while freeing up space for the more important accessories. Just above the joystick on the right hand side of the monitor you'll find a subtle push button that releases a slim headset hanger. Now this is a great alternative from using a headset stand and I like how it simply slides away into the monitor when I'm done. The second accessory is this little mouse bungee. Clipping into a slot just under the right side of the monitor, it easily holds up your mouse wire to keep it out of the way when gaming, and of course it looks much tidier leaving one less wire hanging around the screen. So with this monitor, you get a 34 inch screen at 3440 by 1440 display resolution. It's an ultra wide QHD 21 by 9 display that has a 1000R curvature and a 3000 to 1 contrast ratio. The VA LED panel supports a maximum of 165Hz refresh rate, with that sought after 1 millisecond response time to benefit fast moving games while maintaining that sharp picture quality. When customising your gaming setup, I find that being able to control every aspect of your display is crucial. So with the MSI OSD app, everything you need to adapt the display to your style of gameplay is right here in one complete package. It has all the general settings you expect from a gaming monitor, from built-in general presets to enabling gameplay aids such as anti-motion blur and night vision to perfectly accommodate the type of game that you're playing. Though it's important to note that certain settings will outrule others, automatically disabling or greying out features if they conflict with each other such as the MPRT, brightness and fast response time. This is only really down to overall eye comfort when playing certain types of games, so take this into consideration when trying to adapt picture settings to match your gameplay. According to MSI, the peak brightness sits at around 550 nits. Now even though we can't execute a full test here, I did run a few basic tests just to check light bleed and dead pixels, and from what I can see there are no inconsistencies. 
One of the draws for the ultra wide monitor is the extended screen space that opens up room when working on other projects. Whether you're just doing some research or editing in creative software, it's nice to have a space for everything all in one screen without needing multiple monitors. A few of the most handy features here are the PIP, PIB and split window modes. So all of these are designed for either breaking the screen down into separate input windows or snapping multiple windows into design frames for the ultimate organized space. And as this is a gaming monitor, you can simultaneously game while managing stream chats, web browsers or various video content for a streamlined multitasking experience. So after all of that, let's get down to the gaming on this monitor. I was surprised to find a range of games that were already compatible with the 21 by 9 widescreen ratio. I played a variety of titles to see how it impacted gameplay and I have to say every single one of them looked fantastic. The extra space combined with the curved display felt more immersive than anything I've ever experienced before. With quick access menus in the bottom right hand side, I could easily alter all of the settings quickly to see the effect in real time. And if I felt the need to turn on any aids such as FreeSync to help the performance, it took no time at all. The Artemis 343CQR is opening up an array of firsts for gaming across platforms. With integrated features such as console mode, you can open up use to machines other than your PC with your monitor with modes that adapt to console settings that almost work just as well as some of the latest high performance TVs on the market. How it works is it accepts the 4K signal from your console and converts it into a 2K FHD resolution with the possibility of 120Hz refresh rate. I find it's a brilliant compromise if you use both console and PC games respectively, so you can combine the two platforms into one screen. Even though only a handful of monitors support this mode, it's still in its infancy in terms of game compatibility on offer, but it's worth having this handy little feature so you're prepared for whatever comes to the platforms in the future. But you don't have to worry too much about changing a lot of settings to get this up and running. On the PS5, you should just be able to go to the app settings and switch the game preset to performance mode to get a much sharper 2K picture as opposed to the 1080p downscaling that most generic monitors put out. With the Xbox Series X, all it takes is switching the display settings from 60Hz to 120Hz in general TV and display options in the settings menu. Just bear in mind that the resolution will scale down to 1440p when 120Hz is enabled and you must disable allow 4K to prevent auto switching. Title compatibility is much higher for the Xbox Series X, but as with both consoles, so many games still don't support the 21 by 9 screen ratio, so you will see black borders on either side of the screen with a few titles. However, this is a small sacrifice for getting that brilliant picture control in some of the most popular titles. So after playing with this monitor for a few hours, I can say I'm easily persuaded to the curved monitor style of gameplay. I like how the screen wraps around to enclose me into the game, I don't find myself getting distracted as much by anything around me, and the quality is incredibly sharp even with the super wide view, as I didn't see any distortion. It wasn't uncomfortable to play with thanks to the well thought out curvature, and with the additional low latency and FreeSync Premium mode, I didn't experience any distressing motion blur or lag. Even though I did spend a bit of time in the beginning trying to get the aspect ratio settings right, it was completely worth it to see that single full display spanning across the workspace for a beautifully minimalistic setup. So what do you think about the MSI Artemis 343CQR curved gaming monitor? Let us know in the comments below and if you like this video and are on the lookout for more reviews on the latest tech, don't forget to subscribe to Box for plenty more content. And as always, thanks for watching.